all you Transformer fans and YouTubers out there, you're with Alfred Rodimus, another video review. And today we'll be reviewing part two of the Combaticons Bruticus set. This is Blast Off. He is number two. As you can see here on the packaging, what I have left of it, I have the card. And here it is. There you see a nice picture of Blast Off. And it's right here, it might be hard to see. This is part two of five Decepticon Bruticus Transformers Generations. This is Blast Off. On the back, here you see part two of five. Right here, he is the right arm. Actually, like I said, you could put these guys in any combination that you like because they made it like universal, so that was cool. So, like I said, you get bored with one way of doing it. You can just switch them around, make him a left arm or make him a foot. Yeah, you can do that. That's cool. But yeah, here's the back of the packaging. There you see Blast Off text specs. There if you want to read it. And here he is in his vehicle mode and robot mode. And it says for his bio... Blast Off disguises the horrible loneliness he feels behind utter contempt for anyone who can't reach orbit under their own power. From his isolated position in orbit, he can fry an Autobots his comrades designate with powerful X-ray lasers or descend to join his fellows in forming the mighty Decepticon Bruticus. Yeah, okay. That's it for that. And we will, oh, we will get down to the figure himself. Here he is. There's a blast off. Nice purple paint apps here. And the yellow. Got some silver in there. Looks really, really cool. Especially for a combiner figure. A whole new style. Like I said, these are, I think these are just so cool because they're not all boxy like the old G1 style combiners, which were cool. They were still cool and still are cool. But this one is just unbelievable. And this guy is just so huge when he's formed into Bruticus. But yeah, here's Blast Off, part two. Like I said, he has no wheels. You know. Like I said, he's just a like a shuttle. A Cybertronian space shuttle. She just flies. Shh. Yeah. Really cool. And like I said, no real movement of any kind in vehicle mode, so. That's just it. You just play. Yay. He flies. Okay. He does have these two little guns that are attached to him in his Cybertronian shuttle mode. And, like I said, it looks good. It looks good. But that's pretty much it for that. So we're going to go ahead and transform this guy. And get into his robot mode. You want to take these off. And these have two pegs on the guns because one tab's here and one tab's here on both sides. Next, we're going to separate the legs. Just kind of untab those, move them out here. Like that. And we're going to come here, separate this. Just kind of... This one's a little bit... Yeah. Got to raise that up and just kind of move those out of the way just for the moment. We're going to bring these on down. Turn them this way. These will be his feet and legs. Gonna take this whole section here. Untab it and bring it down. That will reveal the head. And then the arms. You have this little black piece here. You want to just kind of swivel it forward. Fold his forearms out here. Let's go ahead and do that first. Get those out so they're out of the way. And like I said, these black pieces here, you just want to kind of, just kind of bring those forward. They only go that far. But then you want to just move these into position here because these are his like shoulder pads. And then just rotate his arms on around like this. Just like so. And... That's pretty much it. There you have Blast Off in his robot mode. 
and like I said, being a combiner, these guys are very limited on their posability and their articulation, but it's very understandable. Like I said, there's a head sculpt. Very, very nice. I do like it. It looks really cool. The purple with the yellow on there and the silver on the face. Just really nice. This figure looks really, really good. Now, I, I added my own little Decepticon symbol on his chest here because he did not have one and I felt he needed one to show his faction. So, there that is. Just a little improvement. You can get stickers from repro labels or, you know, wherever online. It does help the look of the figures, I think. I like to have Autobot symbols and Decepticon symbols. Add them to figures that need them. And like I said, he does bend here at the elbow. And he will rotate 360 here. Head will move quite easily from side to side. He does have nice hip movement here. He does bend to the knee. And that's pretty much it. And his little guns here. He can hold these. So if you want to put those in his hands, you can do so. Just like that. And like that. And there you go. There's Blast Off ready for battle in robot mode. Like I said, a really cool figure. Like I said, limited on possibility, but because he is a combiner, it's very understandable. And I am not complaining about it at all because this set is just awesome. And you will see how awesome it is once I get to Brawl, which is part five of five. Then you will see Bruticus completely combined. Totally awesome. But there he is. Cool figure. I like it. But there he is. And now we're going to go to his combiner mode, which is going to be the right arm. So let's go ahead and do that. First, just take his guns out of his hands. I'm going to set those to the side. Like that. And then... So for the right arm, we are going to just move these back. Bring the arm down, put it back in place, as if you're transforming it back into a shuttle. Just like that. We're going to take this section or bring it back up. Tab that in. Go ahead and bring these pieces back. Like so. You're going to tab these back together. It's like, oh, he's turning it back to a shuttle. Well, this is the way the arm goes. Just got to find those tabs and line them up. I'll move the legs down here out of the way. Make it a little bit easier. Just like that. And there you have that. Now, this part, take the legs, you're going to open this section up right here because this is the hand for Bruticus. You want to flip that out. Do the same way over here, open this up, flip it out. This is the other half of the hand. You just want to leave these open like that. Then you're going to turn them this way. And because it is a right arm, these are thumbs right here. Like I said, this is universal, so you can make him a right or left arm. This particular thumb you flip out if you want him to be a left arm. But he's going to be the right arm, just like in the picture, so we're going to flip that thumb out. Like so. And then you have an opening right here, a little tab. And this tab right here will go into there. So you're going to line that up and line the hand up and just tab it together. It's going to make a big fist, just like that. So there's the thumb, which is movable. 
And this is, this is supposed to be, I guess, the elbow joint. And now the last thing you want to do is this part right here. It's got a nice clickety clackety joint. You just flip that out like so because this plugs in to this. This little thing right here. So we're going to take it, just line it up on there, and push it on. And he can move his arm in and out. So there is phase two of Bruticus with his right arm. Blast off. So there you have it. Onslaught and blast off. And Okay, that'll work. He can prop himself up there with blast off the arm. But there you have the first two pieces of the puzzle. And I will be back with part three. And like I said, these guns and everything will attach to the other guns. And I will show you that after I finish the other three reviews. So I hope you enjoyed this. So those of you, as I said, who are new to my channel, I am Opterotomus. And my channel name is spelled with two P's, as you see it here. And you know, if you like my videos, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. You can find me on Facebook as well under Opterotomus Prime. Always talking Transformers. Lots of cool stuff there. And you can follow me on Twitter at Opterotomus with one P. And check out my website www.opterotomusreview.com Lots of cool stuff. Facebook, Twitter, news and updates about all kinds of Transformers, and I have a Ustream page there where you can view live Ustream shows or go to the Ustream directly. When I start broadcasting that, I will let everybody know because I will post it on Facebook and Twitter, so follow me there. But yeah, I have a Transformers photo gallery, lots of cool photos of new and upcoming figures and figures that have already been released, just all kinds of pictures to check out there, really cool, and I'm always adding more. I'm looking for more new ones right now, so I'll be adding some more. And like I said, lots of cool stuff there, so check it out. And that's pretty much it until part three. This has been part two of the Transformers Generations Fall of Cybertron Combaticons slash Bruticus. So until next time, this is Opterotomus saying, Autobots, transform and roll out. Bruticus feel better. Bruticus has right arm. But Bruticus needs legs and left arm. Then Bruticus can fight. Bruticus need body parts. Need left arm and legs. Bruticus want them now. Uh-oh. Ow. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.